touch up again real quick on the windshield heaters. Notice how it says four and two, two and four. Well, we say four, four, and two. So you're gonna come across and look at four, one, two, three, four. Cows and wings, one, two, three, four, and two. Those are windshields. That's where we get four, four, and two from. Let's see, EBS window heat, it's off. To turn on if it's icing out, I think you're gonna need it. Windshield blower, guarded switch, it's off. Smack like that. Cabin window heat is push it in, it's on, but the legend is off, so it's automatic. Cow wings, they got an auto. We've done it earlier when we said 4.2. There's your other four. Sometimes they're on the same page together. Depends on what checklist you're running. Fuel system panel check. Did that a moment ago. I'm just coming back here. Left main TRU's off. I remember what those things do. Look them up a couple of times. Cabin galley masters, already got those on, but they're all right here. This is part of your after APU flow. Sat phone, camera, power transfer unit, PTU arm. This is where you, you know, you arm your PTU. You come to the brakes, You're squeezing the brakes right now. Ox hydraulic pump comes on. Your main batteries come on with the aux pump, remember that? You see it come on. Turn it off, see the batteries come off. Aux hydraulic pump on. Step on the brakes, there you go. Power transfer unit, we armed it, aux pump brake we checked. Cockpit light masters are set how we like them. Seat belts, no smoking signs, they're right here. You already got that in your after you start flow, crank master, you verify it is off. It's a little hard to see, but there it is, it's off. Crank master, crank master. Start masters off. Side controls. I come over here and we show my lights and switches are how I like them. Nozzle steering, I see my switches up. I feel a little hard to see with the lighting. I'm on COM2. I'll do an oxygen check while I'm here, make sure my headset's plugged in. Emergency landing gear, cockpit controls, emergency landing gear handle down there on the right, it's stowed. Audio control panels are set. CBR already tested up top. Alternate select switch as required. Select switch as required. Otherwise for the CBR. It's not required. Crew, passenger oxygen mask. Just like the old G3s, there they are. Top one on, that one auto. Nozzle steering power is offered. Look at that. Nozzle pedal disconnect switch for legacy drivers. If you're an old G3 guy and you just can't get used to having steering on the pedals, you can hit disconnect and it'll be just like a G3. Clocks are zero amount. You gotta hold it three seconds. One, two, three. Display controllers check. Come through here and go through the display controls. We want PFD, CD air control things. We want to go through everything. Totally up to you. Mess with a whole lot. Engine select EPA mode. The engine is always in EPA mode. See the top EPA? You would come up to TRS here, and this is where you would go to like uh, alternates. You want to change your engine powers. Sensor, engine control. Here's where I can put the engine in alternate. So I'm in alternate. I'm going to get blues alternates. Right control on the right side alternate too. So I'm in alternate mode, not in EPR mode, even though the EPR still stays there. Take it out of alternate so you go through its little works. Okay. Now, Notice there's no takeoff EPR set. You go in here and say flight plan. Let's just put it out my back. Put the flight plan. It's on the KLZ. LZU, LZU, doesn't even know where I'm going.
oven. We have the downhill project. Okay, perfect. Mid. Optimal is fine. Okay, just leave it like that. Just do it to get numbers. Take off page. Uh, wind, you put in zeros. Okay, no wind. It knows the length, knows the runway, knows where it's at. Pulled up the right chart. So now you see thrust right here, rated E for go flex. If you hit flex, nothing's happened yet. But if you hit confirm in it, it's going to do the takeoff data for flex takeoff. Once it's done computing, it puts the flex numbers up top and your rated E for So you know what you're targeting for today. And that's only after you've changed it in your takeoff config. Okay, back to the checklist. Engine select EPR mode. So now you know what we're in. We're in EPR mode. The engine's always in EPR mode. V speeds, enter verify. We just did the V speeds by doing the takeoff in it. You can see them right here. I confirm 114. I look up top. Yeah, 114. Everything's matching up. It is a computer. It does a pretty good job, but try not to get lazy over it. it shows your gradients for your flex EPR. These speeds are done. Yeah, and you can probably check the other side too. It looks the same. Your test page. Look, our test now is Jipwis and TCAS test. So you go to your test sensors. You just hit it right here, Jipwis. Wait through, run through all those things. TCAS test. They've already been done, so I'm just running through it for you. Altimeters are set. Got 3013. Set one up top here. Set the standby down low. And you set the copilot side. Guidance panel, that's the audio autopilot panel. I don't have numbers here, so I don't have a closed flight plan. This will always get you here. Oh, this should be auto speed, so perfect net's probably not done. 